rape suspect Brandon Vandenberg tries to keep a low profile, but in three weeks he will be back before the camera standing trial once again in the Vanderbilt rape case. Since his indictment three years ago, Vandenberg has only talked to one reporter, News Channel 5's Nick Barris. And tonight we revisit what Vandenberg said, and as this new trial approaches, Nick compares those words with what we now know about this high profile case. This was Brandon Vandenberg not long after his criminal indictment three years ago. I think I'm being railroaded. He said he did not rape an unconscious woman in a Vanderbilt dorm. No, I'm completely innocent. A jury did convict both Vandenberg and Corey Beatty last year, but juror misconduct forced the judge to throw out those verdicts. Beatty just stood trial and was convicted again. Now Vandenberg goes next month. The fact that he was convicted the first time and there was a mistrial absolutely has zero bearing in the current case. This is a brand new jury. Vandenberg has long maintained he committed no crime. He insists he's a good person. I've been an outstanding citizen, I've been a strong Christian, and I was raised right by my family with high level of character and never got in trouble my whole life. But since we first sat down with Vandenberg for a series of exclusive interviews in 2013 and 14, we've learned much more about the case against him. For instance, prosecutors say it's his cell phone that recorded the sexual assault. I think that we're going to see them try to paint Mr. Vandenberg out as the ringleader and to show that he was really uh, the bad guy in all of this, and this was all his idea. Again, you can't get away from the fact that it's his room, his girlfriend, and his cell phone. Sometimes I get down. I think anybody would uh, with these allegations. During the first trial, others took the stand testifying for the prosecution against Vandenberg. Back in 2014, he told me some had betrayed him. People who I trusted had turned against me. The jury at Vandenberg's next trial will hear much of the same testimony. They'll see the same disturbing videos. Will they reach the same verdict? I'm innocent, and I'm going to fight that to the very end. The end, one way or another, will come soon. Vandenberg's trial is set to begin June 13th. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Vandenberg remains free on bond tonight, living with his family in California. News Channel 5 will have gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the Vanderbilt rape retrial streaming on our website and also on News Channel 5 Plus, again, starting on June 13th.